is in an elimination match. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown, weighing in at 200 pounds, Beach Ian Miles. The rules here are simple, Chain. guys. The deciding fall can take place literally anywhere inside the arena. And spoiler alert, there's a good chance that fall doesn't take place inside the ring. Not that this is like the Falls Count Anywhere matches we've seen in the past. And his opponents, first, from Washington, weighing in at 320 pounds. As a reminder, in this match, falls count anywhere Matt around this arena. Astodon. And I can tell you that these matches are incredibly difficult to call as the action rarely contains itself within the ring. From the United States of America, weighing in at 190 pounds, the disaster, Jay Dusty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Falls Count Anywhere match, which means this contest can end anywhere inside this arena. And let me tell you that a match of this nature is incredibly dangerous, especially considering how many different weapons a superstar can find throughout the arena. Here we go with this huge triple threat match. What a strike! He's taking some offense. He can't rest on his laurels here. There are two other guys in there that want this match just as much as he does. It's hard to tell at this point, but perhaps the unpredictable nature of this match is too much for him to overcome. You gotta believe this one's over! do this outside the ring. Money pulled off. Oh, what impact. Uh, oh, twisting the arm and an elbow right to the shoulder. And look at oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. Beautiful technique. Got the leg. Dragon screw. Out of 
This isn't going to end well. Attacking the knee. Oh, my God. Oh, crushing the knee here. Eventually, John Cena and Seth Rollins changed the landscape of the match by doing the one thing they never considered. And that was working together. The Beast survived three consecutive AAs from John Cena and a curb stop from Seth Rollins. Cena and Rollins then went toe to toe as one tried to take the other out of the match. All three superstars suffered an incredible beating, which included Brock Lesnar being treated by two doctors at rings. Looking for all the glory here. Digging deep for a kick out. That's too early for that. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. But things can change in an instant in a triple threat match. Hey, you're going to get hurt in a match like wow. this. That's just the way it is. There's really no way around it. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Harsh impact. No, he reverses it. a bit off his game here. He needs to create some space and find a way to get back on the offenses. Well, he's clearly not oh. used to competing in a match like this, and it's starting to show. Power bomb. At 2016's Clash of Champions, it was another classic triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship. It was Bailey versus the boss, Sasha Banks, versus the champion, Charlotte Flair. The match started out more like a singles match between the boss and the queen. Bailey learned very quickly it was every woman for herself. As Byron mentioned, the Pat Patterson, Sergeant Slaughter, Alley fight had many of the elements of a false count anywhere match. Most notably, I'd say, was the heavy weapon usage. Yeah, that match had everything from cowboy boots to brass knuckles, but more importantly, weren't you born in 1981, Saxton? Good point. Got him up. You know, in a false count anywhere match, and he's got him covered. What is keeping this competitor going? How'd he do that? Point of the elbow, nailed it. Drop kick, and hits the mark. Oh no! Inverted DDT. Hard to argue your take on this match, Michael. When there are no rules to enforce. The official sole responsibility in a match like this is to simply declare the victor. Yeah, the referee may only have one job, but I'm still willing to bet he finds a way to mess it up. And he's able to get out. I don't believe it. He refuses to lose. Close line! Off with their head. Superstars who have competed in a triple threat match feel it's a good idea to have both a finishing move that brings you to a pinfall attempt on your opponent and a submission move that can make your opponent tap out. Given the chaotic and unpredictable nature of a triple threat, that sounds like a good plan to me. Before you mention the strategy some superstars have implemented for competing in the triple threat match, and that includes having a finishing maneuver to put someone away for the one, two, three, and a submission to make them tap out. There are many superstars in WWE who can do just that, which makes them even more dangerous to opponents. The way I look at it is you can never have, you can do it here. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? What a kick out, big elbow. This has just been pandemonium. Oh, he goes down hard. Yeah, he's definitely 
least, will he be victorious? How does he keep doing this? Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Got the leg. Bang and screw. That'll tear your knee up. He wants to do this in the ring. Here he goes. Talk about dismantling your opponent. And there it is, boys. Moves like that will make you question why you... He's got the shoulders down. Two. And he got a near fall out of it. And I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. He might have just oh, the air. Oh, my. Warm up the bus. This one is over. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. His shoulders are down. And he got a near fall out of it. How'd he do that? Got the leg. Bang and screw. That'll tear your knee up. You can see the wear and tear that this fight has taken out of these men. Very nice. He thinks he has it. Two. A kick out. This one's not over yet. Nice kick out there. I'll tell you what. This is one they'll be talking about tomorrow at Walker School. That's for sure. Cross the shoulders. Samoan driver. That might just be the final nail. Shoulders on the one, two, three. Oh, what impact. He may have broken free cold, but I assure you the damage has already been done. Specifically targeting the leg. Oh, nailed it. And will this be it? Yes. Two. Oh, he kicked out. Unbelievable. This is amazing. Deserves another look. Here we go. Check him out here.
He ain't playing here. Oh, I can't believe this. And this is how he ended it. Here is your winner, the Narcissist, Matt the Mastodon. Big, big win here in this triple threat match. What a performance. Three competitors walked in with legitimate chances of winning, but in the end, only one showed the resolve and the willingness to do anything necessary to pick up the win. Social media has been buzzing over this Raw match ever since it began, and now that it's over, I actually anticipated intensifying.